In this video, we are going to try and figure out what the American Wood Council suggests for the maximum length of a stair stringer. This will be from this point here to this point right here. And it's actually not going to be the length of the stringer. It's going to be the length of the horizontal line that the stringers are going to be sitting on top of. And I think the easiest formula for you would be to have no more than seven 10 inch steps or six 11 inch steps or actually six 12 inch steps. And you can do the math on that. Six times 11 is 66. Six times 12, 72 or six feet right on the money. And seven times 10 is 70, making it less than 72 inches. So it will work if it's less than, it won't work if it's more than. And of course the minimum of five inches. This will be this measurement here coming off of the corner where the bottom of the riser meets the back of the tread on a square line, a 90 degree angle off of this line right here the bottom of the stair stringer. And the American Wood Council also suggests using a minimum of two by 12 for your stair stringers. So what if you need them to be longer? Then you will need a post supporting the stringer. And that might look something like this. Again, the maximum measurement is going to be six feet and you would just simply space the post out accordingly. Now they also do call for the post to be notched and have two half inch bolts going through them with washers. I'll provide you with an example of that here in a little bit. And let's not forget that this is just for a set of deck stairs, even though it might work just fine for interior stairs. And even though I don't quite agree with the example they have for connecting the stringer to your deck ledger, you can feel free to use their example. I'm going to provide you with a hanger here because they do allow for other types of hardware. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at how the post can connect to the stringer with two half inch bolts with washers on each side. However, I did find another example where they suggested using two number eight wood screws that can be longer than three inches, just not shorter than three inches, if the post is not going to be used for a guardrail. And of course, the post can be notched on either side and supported with footings. And I will be providing more information about the footings in a future video. And I'm not 100% sure if you need to notch the post like I'm doing here for a guardrail post. I would think that the bolts would be enough. However, I did not see an exemption of that. So this is probably how it's going to need to be done. And even though they did not provide enough details, or at least I didn't find enough details on how deep the notch needs to be. You could always just notch this thing about three-eighths of an inch instead of an inch and a half like I'm showing here. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at how the stairway might be framed with the support post in the center and the guardrail support post on the outside. Now keep in mind that if this stairway needs to have a minimum of three foot clearance, for the width of the stairway, these notches aren't going to work unless we space the stringers out a little further or use three quarter inch notches instead of inch and a half notches here. And of course the bottom will be supported by footings and the maximum spacing on the stringers will be 18 inches on center. And that measurement can be taken from the left side of the stringer to the left side of the center stringer or from the center of the stringer to the center of the stringer. And I will leave the name of the booklet that I got the information from to make this video in the video description area. You can simply copy and paste the title into your favorite search engine to find that booklet.